What is up, YouTube? It is Tea Time here. We are back with another video, and today we are going to be talking about DC and uh, Peacemaker. All right. So the Peacemaker episode came out a couple of days ago, right? And I've had COVID, or I was just really sick. My family's had COVID. I didn't get it, thank God. But I've been really sick, so I couldn't get my review, right? I'm okay now, so we're going to do a review. I was going to take notes on paper, but I was sick, so I laid in bed and watched it and done it on my phone. So we're going to be talking about this on my phone with the notes, all right? So we start off with um, a flashback from Chris and his friend. Oh, no, Chris and his brother. Sorry. They were like best friends, right? They were singing along, stuff like that. And then some reason they were forced to fight in like this pit. And then somehow his brother died and his dad blamed it on him. You know, he was like, you killed your brother, you idiot, stuff like that. Um, but then we cut back to real time. That was a little sad scene. You know, this this episode was really emotional, you know. But White Dragon and his group, they go after Peacemaker and Vigilante. And Chris, oh, no, 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 so, sorry, sorry. I have to do this way better. White Dragon and his group, they go after Peacemaker. But Peacemaker, Vigilante, and Chris. God damn. Vigilante and Chris with John and Eagley. All right. They go after the cops. They go after the cow. They try to kill the cow. Harcourt goes to meet up with Adebayo. She pressures her about the diary. Adebayo reveals that she's Waller's daughter. Harcourt tries to snitch, tells Mern. Mern's like, I already knew that. But um, the white dragon attacks the four in the truck, right? And the three fight, the three fight group, you know, they fight the dad. And, um, and I'm talking about Eagley, Chris, and Vigilante. And we think Vigilante dies, you know? He explodes in the grenade, and we don't see him. But then we see he's alive. He robs their car. And... We cut back to Harcourt, and literally the whole police force pulls up. Vigilante, uh, we cut back to Vigil Vigilante. He passes out, and um, he picks up the other three, right? That's good. Um, Mern dies. It's terrible. It's sad. It's emotional. I didn't think I would be sad about this, but, yeah, Mern died. And Judo Master ends up coming in after they have a like a sad scene with Harcourt and Mern, you know? Judo Master shows up. Harcourt shows off her skills, destroys them, like, easily. You know, she's angry. And eagerly attacks, you know, John's butt. You have a quick little funny scene right there. Eagerly's, like, just attacking his butt. It's hilarious. And um, they're talking about how they found, how his dad found him. Talking about uh, Peacemaker's helmets. So Vigilante ended up keeping all Peacemaker's helmets, and he has them with them. So they end up throwing them out, but the whole group comes after him, and Eagle is helping out Peacemaker, you know, attacking all those people, killing them, stuff like that. And Eagle ends up going after White Dragon and gets hit really hard, you know. We think he's dead at that point. Peacemaker sees that. He ends up going rage mode, destroys his dad easily, pretty much. And then he's forced to kill his dad with the help of Vigilante. You know, Vigilante's there, stabs him, stuff like that. And then his dad, Chris shoots his dad right in his head. Um, we also see John kill like 20 guys with a machine gun. It's amazing, you know. But then we cut back to him killing his dad. Peacemaker, John Cena. We didn't think he'd be, an, I didn't think he'd be an amazing actor for this, but he's crying. It's amazing. It really is. He, you could tell that he was sad. But, um, yeah, we cut back. Eagerly ends up healing. And then we see a cool little scene with him and Peacemaker. It's kind of emotional, you know. But, uh, Eagerly ends up hugging him. And that hug, I guess, ended up motivating Adebayo to stay. And she helped the team. And now they are all ready to fight with Harcourt as their leader. Um, we cut back to the cow. 
in the butterflies. And we were we get revealed that the cow could be teleported anywhere. But we ended up going to the farm. We see the cow. It's huge. It's nasty. But I feel like it's not the villain. You know, I feel like the butterflies are, and they're holding it against its will. So we'll have to see about that. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And this was the scene where he had to kill his dad, you know. But he ended up crying a lot more. It was good. But let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.